Hello again, you beautiful nerds. I am Wildfire One. I was told about this game from Clovis, who had uh, requested that I play it, thinking it might be some interesting content. So here we are. Uh, AI Dungeon is a browser text based game that I guess has a very powerful AI. Uh, we're going to test and see just how smart this is. We're going to go on a little adventure. It may be a continuous thing. We'll see. Um, hold on with it. So, <laughs> new game. Classic multiplayer. We'll do classic. Explore. Cyberpunk. Custom. Halloween. I love all these things, but uh, we'll do fantasy. Ooh, do I want to be a noble, a princess, a knight, a witcher? I'll be a, I'll be a peasant. Choose your character's name. We'll call him... Uh, we'll call him... Bobby... Boondock. Generating a story. Alright. God, I gotta read. You are Bobby Boondock, a peasant living in a small village in a kingdom of Lurian. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You have a pitchfork and nothing else. You dream of getting out of your village and having an adventure. You go to your fields and begin working. You look up to see a mysterious cloaked figure. He speaks to you and tells you that, you're, that your dream can come true if you perform a task. You stare at him for a moment, wondering what he means. I'm going to ask him. Just straight up. What do you mean? The figure appears to be the embodiment of a demon that is half man and half goat. Maram you. <laughs> it begins to laugh at you. What are you laughing at, you demon? The demon stops laughing. Huh. It didn't answer my question. What kind of adventure do you mean? I'm just a lowly dumb peasant. The demon transforms back into the cloaked figure you saw earlier. He smiles at you and points to the sky. You will get your adventure up there. The figure disappears. I feel slightly crazy. Huh. Huh. Story. Do look. Huh. I look up. It's thinking. You're standing near the village center. The group of peasants are cheering on a group of knights. The knights are fighting against another group of peasants. What? I walk closer to the fight, wanting to see what is going on. As you walk closer, you realize the knights and the peasants are all real. The knights can be heard shouting their names. The peasants are yelling at them and calling them names. What in the nine hells is going on here? Suddenly, one of the knights pulls his sword out on a nearby peasant and rides over to the wino. The wino looks like he is drunk, but he walks up to the knight. No one, no one, just, no one, no one's gonna talk to me? No one's gonna answer my fucking question? Continue to observe. Hope I'm spelling things right. The knight looks like a fool. The peasant pulls out a dagger and stabs the knight from the bottom. Ooh. He falls to the ground and begins wheezing. A non-existent medic runs over to him. What? A, no a non-existent me- What? Huh? This is confusing. I walk over to the downed knight. A large crowd of peasants has gathered to watch the show. They jeer and laugh at the fallen knight. You walk up to him realizing he's died. Up to the knight and ask him, is there anything you wish for me to do?
The knight looks up at you and smiles. With his last strength, yes, you do you believe in fairies? What? The knight struggles to speak. Do you uh believe do you believe in fairies? I I wanted to help you and now you're asking what? Sh sure. I guess. <laughs> the knight smiles and breathes his last. You realize what this was all about and begin to laugh. What? What kind of guy am I? The peasants boo and call you names. You walk away as the crowd begins to dissipate. I look up to the sky and search for a fairy. You believe you're seeing fairies flying around you. They must be tiny. You can't seem to find exact traces of them. Nonetheless, they seem to be there. I attempt to talk to a fairy. Hi? One of the little flying sprites hops onto your shoulder and begins staring at you. You startle, causing the fairy to move back a bit. A fairy, you whisper slowly as the sprite stares at you. I look at the sprite, confused. So you do exist, I say out loud. The fairy nods. More talking follows. After a while, the fairy begins to fly away and out of your eyesight. You can still hear him. You can still hear him, though. Will I see you again? Huh. Was this the adventure the demon was telling me about? The laughing demon? Um, hmm. I need to lay off the drugs. <laughs> the fairy seems to nod in response. I'll try to find you again, but I can't make any promises. He says with a small pixie-like sigh. Okay. I'm going to try and follow the fairy. How about that? Attempt. I attempt to follow the fairy. Sprite disappears as you stand in the dark alley. Nondescript man suddenly behind me. This is not what I wanted to do at all! Do you know where the nearest brothel is located, he asks? I do not. Okay. I begin to look for the brothel with the man behind me. You find the brothel quite easily. As you're walking down the street, you realize that you're being followed by a man. How much? What? What? Dude! I speak to the man behind me. I'm not a hooker. I'm a man and I'm helping another man find the brothel. Jeez. I say. That's fine. How much? 200 gold. The man behind you pulls you just pulls out a small bag and gives you the money. Then begins to walk towards you. Jesus! What is going on? No! I pull out my dagger. No means no. I say, and take a defensive stance. What the hell? Don't touch me there. The man begins to chuckle. Relax, relax, he says and hands you the bag of gold. You take the bag and unload its contents in your coin purse. Have a good night. What? <laughs> huh? This is uh, not how I expect this to go. And begin my trek home. Confused of the night's events. You begin your trek home and confused of the night's event. Okay. You head home and wonder what the hell happened. Yeah, what the fuck happened? Door to my hut and walk in.
You arrive home and realize you've had a great night. I don't know if it's been great. You open a coin purse and find you have 50 gold pieces. Nice. I wonder if that's a lot. Oh, now I can eat. Yay. I prepare dinner for the night. Do I have a wife or something? Is it just me? Place rabbit a rabbit in the oven and prepare for your journey to begin. What journey? You've been working on improving your hunting techniques and have gotten a few good ones. Okay. I eat the rabbit and head to bed to pr prepare for tomorrow. Jesus, where is, where is this game taking me? What is going on? You decided to sleep in for the day. You actually had a very you actually had very little sleep last night and need a bit more. Yeah, because someone tried to fucking make me into a prostitute. You wake up again to a wonderful dinner prepared by what? Carla? Who's Carla?